So tell me a little bit about how you have implemented Intermountain Precision Genomics into your practice to help your patients. I mean, I have several examples. Uh, there are certain patients that have, I mean, let's take one of our, our very rare kind of types of sarcoma is called chondrosarcoma. Uh, we are really learning now that there are many different types of mutations that are active in these. Particularly one is called isocitrate dehydrogenase 1, which for a tumor type that has almost no good treatment options, this is actually looking pretty decent, but it's a matter of trying to find those treatments. And so I've had a couple patients now that I've found that they have, they harbor that mutation. And I've been able to put them in clinical trials. Now, on the alternate side, you know, where I have patients where there are not really trials available, we've had the opportunity to test their genetics and test their tumor types and find, you know, one patient we found an FGFR amplification and we placed her on an approved drug for sarcoma interstitial interstitial and she's actually had a dramatic response uh, for, for quite some time, where, whereas she was progressing quite quickly through chemotherapy. So I think there is definitely benefit uh, for the targeted agents. Uh, looking towards the future, though, I think um, this is really the, how we're looking at, at, uh, at progressing cancer therapies and really with the moonshot for cancer cures. I'm not sure if we're going to have a cure for cancer, but it may become more of a chronic disease where we start tamping down certain receptors, certain pathways, um, and and make it so it's uh, it literally we just keep the cancer stable and live with the cancer rather than trying to, you know, be very, very toxic. So treat really it more of therapies. a chronic disease. That's exactly it. I mean, have it, it, it'd be great if you can live with cancer. Right. Uh, I mean, I, I obviously curing cancer and getting rid entirely would be right. awesome. I'm not sure if that's in the near future. Now, clearly with immunotherapies, I mean, there's a lot of excitement there, but they'll still leave a, a large proportion of the population that does not have activity. And so right. I think we really started focusing on and continue focusing on the target-based therapies and pathways that are that are uh, that are in reach, and Great. I think they will help. Great.